as far as I remember, when I during my studies in the in the, in the secondary school, I liked very much maps, uh, especially in history in a geographics. And uh, as far as I remember, in the seventh grade, uh, actually there was an assignment uh, to go to the fields and to describe uh, and to write and to prepare the map of the of the territory. After the school, uh, I was looking at the universities where it's, where it will be possible to to work uh, once again with the maps. So actually, there was an opportunity to. Um, uh, I was looking for the opportunities where to um, uh, to to prepare to draw the maps, and actually I have chosen Lithuanian University of Agriculture to study land management because uh, land managers and uh, land surveyors they are drawing maps uh, and uh, they are after that they are working in a, in the municipalities they are drawing various territory planning maps. Uh, they are working as urban planners, they are working in a cadaster and etc. The um, city administrators, uh, they are using various information, geographical information, they are using population data, they are looking at the crime data, they are analyzing, uh, for example, flooding maps, and, and it gives you know, their uh, understanding about the territory. Uh, GIS is a it's a science of where uh, because we are uh, the city administrators they are raising such a questions like where to build a kindergarten in which territory they are thinking about uh, where to allocate surveillance uh, cameras uh, and various things so uh, so the GIS help, helps in such a questions to solve such a questions. As municipalities, they are developing various data. They are opening this data in open data portals. They are preparing, you know, this. Uh, they are opening their big data to analyze it. So it's possible to analyze all this data not only in a two D, but uh, but it's possible to uh, open all this data in three D in a third dimension. So opening all this data in three D maps, it's possible to. Um, to use all this uh, 3D, all the data uh, in a di digital city uh, to prepare a 3D map. Uh, it's possible to use for the gamification, like a Minecraft. Uh, it, is, it is possible to, um, uh, to use it in augmented reality, in virtual re reality, and for various uh, citizens' involvement uh, through the gamification as well. GIS analysts, uh, so their their solutions, uh, their insights are based on a data driven, you know. So actually, from GIS data driven. So they are uh, they have analytical thinking. Uh, they are using various, you know, these maps and uh, looking at the concentration of some sort of things, and uh, they are preparing like a heat maps, and. Uh, they are giving their insights and suggestions for the city authorities uh, how to manage various things. Talking about uh, self-employment in such in this area, I would say uh, it's possible to work for, as a freelancer in this area. And uh, for example, there are uh, various opportunities to work for the United Nations uh, in, in various uh, internships uh, to, to to help prepare maps for the many, many African countries uh, for uh, various developing countries I would say not only African countries find the recommendation for the students uh, it would be uh, first of all, the most important thing is curiosity, I would say, and after that, uh, it's necessary to focus on uh, geographics, on uh, informatics, on, uh, math on mathematics and statistics, history as well, uh, and to focus on uh, crunching big data, you know, to open data which are, uh, are available at the municipalities, uh, and of course, uh, it's necessary to um, the new trends. Is, uh, I would say it's a uh, internet of things, so mechanics as well. Uh, and if we 
we are talking about uh, all the geographical data, um, we have to think about, as I mentioned, about the 3D, about virtual reality, augmented reality, uh, about the artificial intelligence as well, because uh, it helps also all this data, and geographical data, helps in us, as mentioned, in a decision support. children are thinking where to study, in which, which topics to study, so I would say uh, they have to focus on a, a geography, uh, land management, territory planning, urbanists. Mm -hmm.